Crypto art income, or NFTs. That probably sounds like Chinese to most of you, but people are making serious money on NFTs. And I personally believe this is the future for all independent creators. I did hours of research on this topic, so you don't have to. By the end of the video, you'll have a pretty good understanding of what NFTs are and how to get started if you want to get in on this early. If you like art and entrepreneurship type videos, make sure to like the video, jingle all my bells and buttons for more videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. My name is Janet. I'm an ex-Disney artist turned independent creator. Last year, I went full-time into being an independent artist, and I'm always looking for the newest, latest, and greatest strategies to help you make more money monetizing your creative passions. Let's get started. So first and foremost, what are NFTs? Let's look it up on Google. So according to Wikipedia, NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. It's a special type of cryptographic token which represents something unique. Non-fungible tokens are thus not mutually interchangeable. This is in contrast to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and many network or utility tokens that are fungible in nature. So to break that down, this is similar to Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. The difference here is that it is non-fungible. Non-fungible basically means it is unique. Whereas a Bitcoin looks like a Bitcoin the same way a dollar bill looks like every other dollar bill. What NFTs are used for is you can create a digital piece of art and basically turn it into or attach it to an NFT marking that art as original. Before NFTs were created, there was no real way to do that for digital art. Because of that reason, digital art has always been looked at as lesser than than traditional art. For example, you can go to a gallery and buy a fine art piece and have it live in your home and you own that original piece of art forever. Because digital art can be reproduced and has no real way to figure out who has the original version of that piece of art, artists were never really able to sell their digital art pieces in the same way that fine artists can. Some fine art paintings can sell upwards of thousands and thousands, sometimes millions of dollars, whereas digital artists have to work for clients and can't sell their art in the same way. And with NFTs, digital art has become original again. You can turn your digital art piece into a token and now whoever buys that knows that they have something that is original and scarce. There's only one or maybe a few editions of this digital art piece and that's it. That's all there is in the world. The thing is, digital art has been bought for a while now in the form of, let's say, video game character skins. The problem with that is, if that game goes away, so does the art that you bought. There's no way for you to, let's say, put it in your pocket and own it. With NFTs, you can own it forever. As long as it's in your wallet and in your possession, it can never really be deleted or destroyed. So this is a game changer for digital artists specifically. Because of scarcity and because something can now be designated as an original piece of art, digital art can now become collectible. So art collectors all around the world have been buying up digital art like never before for thousands, if not millions of dollars. And you might be asking what about the legal aspects of this when you sell your digital art piece as an nft do you keep all the legal rights or do you sign away all your rights it works exactly the same as when someone buys your original piece of art in person you retain all the copyrights and all the same things unless otherwise negotiated but it is the internet and anything you put on the internet might be in danger of copyright infringement and it's the same thing with traditional art as well that is something I will talk about when we look at the different sites that I'm going to be talking about that will allow you to turn your art into an NFT and sell it. That brings me to the second point, how do I get started? There are two different types of marketplaces that are available right now. One is the open market, which is basically 
open to anyone and everyone. And the other is invite only, which means you either need to be invited or you need to apply to become accepted into that platform in order to sell your art. First, I'm going to talk about the open marketplaces and the advantages or disadvantages that you might have for either one. Open marketplaces usually have more than just art NFTs for sale. Other NFTs include collectible icons, collectible digital trading sports cards, and music, for example. But a disadvantage is that anyone can join, which means it's not curated. OpenSea is one of the largest NFT marketplaces available open to the public. As you can see by the website layout, it kind of reminds me a little bit like Etsy. It has everything and everything and it's easily overwhelming. One of the problems I noticed is it's pretty hard to get noticed. You get lost amongst all the different art in there. And in general, the art doesn't sell for as much as the curated invite only platform specifically because it's not curated and it's hard to determine if this art has value in the eyes of collectors. Another similar site is mintable.app. Again, the site layout is very similar to sites like Etsy or eBay, but in the crypto art space. Something that you should know in order to get started in the crypto art space, NFTs are typically bought with Ethereum. You need Ethereum and a crypto wallet in order to get started making and selling your NFTs and to collect your own. One of the unique things about Mintable is that you can create your own crypto art store using their platform. You also do need to invest some cryptocurrency in order to turn your digital piece of art into an NFT. If you do not want to do that, Mintable allows you to create an NFT for free using their services. As long as you are minting or creating an NFT through the Mintable store. Another example is app.rarible.com. This is another site similar to OpenSea and Mintable. It is also open to the public. And something that I would like to mention, depending on the site that you choose, the royalty system is different. So the one thing that makes NFTs really, really popular with this fine art space is you can get royalties through secondary sales. So for example, if someone buys your NFT, you get paid that price. If they in turn sell it because let's say their NFT's value has gone up, maybe it's doubled in value and they sell it, you can get let's say a 10% royalty from that sale. That is unheard of. You can't really even do that in the fine art world when you sell a painting. When you sell a painting, you get paid, the gallery gets paid, maybe your agent gets paid, but you don't usually see royalties if the person who now owns that piece of art also sells it. Depending on the site you choose, they have different royalty payout and commission fees. So each site charges a different commission fee. Usually it's between 15 to 25%, similar to how a gallery would charge you. Some sites you can set the amount of royalties you want to receive up to 50%, while other sites will designate you only get 10% royalties per sale. Before I move on to the invite only curated marketplaces, comment down below if you would buy or invest in NFTs. So that brings us to the curated marketplaces. These are invite only marketplaces similar to these sites I've already explained to you before, but the only way for you to get on these sites and start selling your NFTs is to apply or get invited. If you want to buy NFTs, it's pretty much open to anyone. You can link your wallet and start art collecting and purchasing. But for for artists who want to contribute and be creators, there is a curation process. Super Rare is the first invite-only marketplace that I wanted to talk about. It has gotten super popular right now. Many artists have flooded their applications to apply. They do have a 3% transaction fee that's similar to most online stores like Etsy, for example. Super Rare also gets a 15% commission on every art sold, and creators get a 10% royalty. You also get paid
paid in Ethereum, which I think is really cool because Ethereum, like Bitcoin, can go up in value. Whereas if you get paid in cash or in dollars, the value of dollars kind of stays the same throughout time. In fact, it actually decreases in value because of inflation. If someone paid you in Ethereum a month, a year from now, that Ethereum might be worth more than when you got paid. If you go over to the marketplace of Super Rare, you will find the art that is currently being sold. And as you can see, these pieces of art are making a lot of money compared to the more open marketplaces. Because these sites are invite only or application only, they are curated and so the collectors are willing to pay more for this art compared to just random stuff that they found in the open market. The next curated marketplace that I want to talk about is Nifty Gateway. This marketplace was created by a set of twins and then sold to another very famous set of twins, the Winklevoss twins. So this is one of the only platforms, I believe, that people can easily buy crypto art with their credit card without necessarily having to have a wallet or owning Ethereum. Because of that, I think the adoption of Nifty Gateway is probably going to be so much easier than the adoption of all these other sites, simply because a lot of people still don't have crypto wallets. They still don't really trust cryptocurrency and have a hard time wrapping their head around the concept, but they understand whipping out their credit card to buy something online. The really interesting thing about Nifty Gateway is they've really figured out hype culture. They basically work with artists to collaborate on a drop. Artists basically decide if they want to make a one of one original or a set of additions, similar to prints. Because of that, people have sold out in seconds on Nifty Gateway and they've made millions of dollars on this platform. You can see the artists that they work for, each piece sells easily for thousands of dollars. The next marketplace I want to talk about is Foundation.app. Foundation is a little bit different than other marketplaces in that it is invite only. You can't really apply to be on this platform. You have to get invited. They basically sent out 50 invites, I believe, when they first started. And then the artists who got invited get invites themselves and they have to invite invite others to join the platform. So the only way for you to get an invite to this platform is to find an artist who is already on this platform who would give you an invite. Artists get more invites if their work sells. So in a way, it's a little bit of a closed network because artists will obviously give their friends the invites and not just anyone. Maker's Place is another platform where you can create your NFTs and sell it. It is awesome also application only. Maker's Place is also invite only. You can apply and maybe hope that they will let you in. For most of these curated invite only sites, they will give you the Hollywood no. And if you don't know what that is, it basically is when you send out a job application in Hollywood and they just completely ghost you and ignore you. That happened to me a lot when I was trying to break into Hollywood. Sadly, I think that is just how the world works these days. Known origin is another similar hot NFT marketplace that is also invite and application only. I think honestly it's the only place that I've noticed that is both invite and application. Just because you're invited doesn't necessarily mean you'll be accepted because you do also have to apply on top of that. Most of the application process requires a whole lot including a video submission as well as a portfolio similar to a job application. As you scroll down, you'll notice that people are auctioning and selling their art for a whole lot of money because even a fraction of an Ethereum is a lot of money. There are so many different NFT marketplaces out there. These are just the ones that I found that are the most biggest, most hyped ones and the ones that people are making millions of dollars off of. There are records being broken on the sale of NFTs practically monthly. There are artists being paid hundreds of thousands of dollars just on royalties 
because of their early adoption of NFTs. This is super exciting and something that I will be definitely looking into in the future to try to sell my own NFTs. If you'd like to learn more about how to use social media to grow your online business, check out my free guide, Eight Steps to Launch Your Online Store. Head over to honeyandabsent.com to check out my merch and help support this channel. Every purchase helps the channel out. And I am currently wearing the fight shirt today. Check out these other videos if you'd like to learn more about how to monetize your creative passions. If you like the video, like the video, jingle all my bells and buttons for more art and entrepreneurship type videos, and don't forget to dare to dream.